Hello guys, welcome to, welcome back to the channel, Bob here, um, and what's this video going to be about? This video is going to be about, um, it's going to be about, it's going to be about, <laughs> I, did, I did, I did start recording with a, with a purpose, honestly, um, oh, I'm, on the wrong, I'm on the wrong bit, hang on a sec, yeah, this video is going to be about kind of like, um, things to do really, I, I, I kind of didn't realise this is, I mean, 53 is the highest I've ever been in EverQuest, so um, I'm sure it's it's only um, a surprise to people like myself. But yeah, but you kind of think that um, I had the discussion. Of, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm kind of, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think my brain's a bit mushy today. But yeah, but, but there was a, a conversation on one of my videos a while back about getting to a certain point and then either kind of running out of things to do or just or feeling that you've you've gone as far as you can um and i i guess i've i guess because of how i was playing previously i've done a lot less than um than, than most people i suppose but now i've reached this point let me just say, i hope the music isn't too loud i'm just i'm going for i'm just going to turn it down a bit I'm going for full immersion today, so yeah, um, yeah. I, I there was a, a conversation on one of my videos a little while back about reaching end game and then kind of just getting bored, I guess. You know, not really knowing what to do. Uh, feel that they've made as much progress as they possibly could, and I guess I'm kind of pretty much a, um, I'm pretty much one of those people who obviously hasn't reached that point. As I said, because of the way that I play, I've been playing. Mostly as a solo player, um, there's a lot of things that I haven't done. Like for example, I don't have any dungeon keys. Um, I guess primarily because I haven't quite reached the levels of Seb and stuff yet. I, maybe, but these are just things that I just assume that, other, that you know, if to me, there's things that other people did. <laughs> you know, I didn't do them because I just I didn't never reach that point. And now I've kind of getting close to that point, or I've reached that point. You kind of, I kind of realise that there's quite a lot of stuff to do. Things like that. I mean, I don't have an OT hammer. I'm not sure how embarrassing that is for a level 53, but I don't know how to get one really, apart other than paying for, for to get one. So you know, it's um, I can't get one on my own. I'm guessing unless I did a load of faction work. Um, so it's those kind of things really. Uh, and I'm finding that there's more and more of those things uh, as I think about them. Things like factioning for for Velius armor, and um, um, I don't have a. I was kind of pretty gutted the last couple of raids because um, there's a couple recently that took place in somewhere I couldn't get to. I think because I didn't have a, a Cobalt Scar key, um, so that's kind of on my to-do list. I'm going to go and try and run to there. Um, I think I have to run through. Um, is it the dragon city to get there um so yeah so i kind of need to do that so things like that you know all these kind of things that i haven't that, that i haven't accomplished yet and it's funny because it because it's all busy work really you know it, it's things that veron put in the way to slow your progress down um and that's fine because that's ever quest and you know we know how that works um and i guess that's partly why we why we enjoy it um yeah, so so it's interesting. I'm kind of doing a to-do list at the moment, and and I'm not sure if the other thing of I was just about to say that the thing that I put at the top of the list is is my epic faction, which you can see I'm doing at the moment. I'm I'm just running around essentially. Uh, I'm kind of repeating this part of the quest because because what I can do I can I can do this without having to having having to get kind of antsy about it. You know, I can I can kill these two mobs when I log in in the morning. Um, essentially, I can go and do the turn. It doesn't take long at all, um, and that's kind of a little bit of action for the day. And eventually, I'll, I'll max that out. Um, I was over in um, City of Mist, and it's fine there, but I did. I must confess, I did get bored. You know, I turned in a couple of books, but but for both books, I was kind of waiting on one page for quite a while, and I, do, I, I and, and I did get bored. You know. Um, and it also it's also busy, so you know it, it's there's quite a lot of shame in there. Often, kind of looking for pages and stuff. So I kind of decided to do this because I do like travelling, even though if if if, if they're well you know well worn paths, I don't mind that. I just like running around the world and kind of experiencing stuff. 
I mean, it's grey and raining here, and I love that. <laughs> just with the music playing, it just sort of adds to the atmosphere. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, so as I was saying, I've kind of, over the last couple of week or so, I've kind of prioritised my epic faction. But now I've done a couple of raids, I kind of feel that maybe I need to prioritise levelling. Um, because I think the one thing that I've noticed generally is that um, when you're on a raid, levels are, are pretty massive. Um, I mean, I I ended up kind of mucking up the... I, I ended up... I was recording, I think it was a Talondor raid we were on yesterday. But I ended up dying, so I didn't get the dragon particularly. I didn't get a kill, so that was kind of like the worst sort of raid um, video ever. <laughs> so I probably won't won't use that um yeah but but it but it's it's um it, it's just one of those things that that's just just how it worked out you know I, because of my level i think i was finding it hard to resist stuff yeah and, and in the end i died and, and missed the whole thing so yeah if one thing that that um one thing that the raiding has taught me i think is that um putting off leveling to do other stuff is maybe not the best idea in the world even though that's exactly what i'm doing at the moment so i'm looking to get on the leveling train um but it was, i was about to say it's difficult it's not difficult um i i mean i mean i'm the sort of person who can sit at a camp for ages and not get bored i don't care killing the same mobs over and over and over again whatever you know i i, I know that's what uh, i guess people who don't like everquest that's one thing they don't like but i love that but i do have a bit of an issue uh, not an issue um but kind of finding those camps it, it can can be tricky sometimes um so at the moment i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn this in and then after that i'm gonna try and get some xp i'm gonna prioritize that but I, I, honestly i'm not sure what to do with myself you know it's um I've kind of asked in guild, which is the first thing to do, I guess. But if people are not XPing or they're doing other things, well, you know, you might not get a guild group. Um, so I'm kind of left with looking for a group um, or looking for a solo spot. And that's not a problem, you know, uh, except that it's kind of me and you know what I'm like. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, I'm, it's not procrastinating. It's kind of, um, it's not even like it's not even the time. It's not even the travel time, really. I don't really know what it is. Um, I still get a bit anxious about going into groups where I don't know people, uh, doing stupid things and making cock ups. Um, I've got some solo -y type spots that I can try. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll go and try those. Um, inconsequential. I just saw you in the video there, Ogre Shaman. Oh yeah. Uh, Level 30. Good luck, mate, on your journey. I hope it, hope it goes well. Um, even though you never watch this, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, so so that that's kind of... That's the list of things to do. That's what I'm doing today. But as I said, yeah, I'm, when I do this turn, you know, I will sit around for ages thinking, what shall I do? Shall I go and try here? Shall I travel there? You know, what shall I do? Shall I go to a dungeon? Um, and then I'll decide not to go to a dungeon, probably, because it means... <laughs> <laughs> grouping with people um which is fine i, I kind of don't have so, as much of a problem as i used to i don't get as anxious as i used to about that but i do often find myself doing the things of kind of least resistance really um so we'll have to see yeah so i'm i think i'm probably gonna i'm not sure if you guys think it's a good idea but i'm probably gonna prioritize xping and just get myself up a couple of levels um i can do this turn in every every day once as i'm nearly in south karana so it really takes a you know what's it, what, what would it take me ultimately i know west karana is a long run but like 30 minutes maybe i don't know maybe less than that but yeah i just thought i would do a video this morning um listen to some to everquest midi and uh yeah and say hello um but my my raiding experience has been a positive one so far um i think that's because the, the guild are you know super duper um but it's interesting, you know, that there's obviously got different types of raids. I've been on a couple of, I've been on, I think I've covered the range generally. You've kind of got the, you've got the mobs that spawn and then you rush to it. Um, those ones are weird because it's kind of, like the, the organisation and mobilisation is, is pretty, is pretty hardcore. Um, 
But then what you get is a five minute fight, you know, so you, you go through all this stuff to get there and then it's all over really quickly. Um, yeah, lot, lots of lots of lots of effort put in, but but for, for very quick. Um, but they're quite important those ones because I think that those particular targets probably, from what I can see, drop quite important things. I mean, when we did Talandor yesterday, I think we got a Red Dragon Scout, which I guess is quite important for for certain epics and stuff. So yeah, but then I but then I did a I did a hate. Um, raid which i haven't i haven't i've got video footage of it but i don't think i'll probably turn it into a video because when we got there um kind of our targets weren't up really so yeah we didn't really um uh, we didn't really it was kind of like but, but but the difference with that one is that that those kind of like hate and and fear and those kind of things they're more kind of like dungeon crawls if you like so you clear your way into a certain point and you clear mobs around it so yeah it takes a lot longer but I enjoyed both of the uh, both of those um, uh, both of those uh, yeah both of those those raids you know so so I I'm looking forward to doing uh, to doing more um, I kind of it's kind of funny because I had a strange attitude towards raids before I started um, and I mostly came to that to those to those to those opinions just from reading the forums really which is probably a, a bad thing to do but you know when you're in a good guild um when you're in a good guild yeah it, it, it's all it's all great you know you get issues of course you know things go wrong and people get cross and you know that's just life but yeah but overall it, it's been really enjoyable um one thing i kind of want to try not to do too much i mean since i've recently i've kind of been worrying about gear quite a lot um and that's not to say that i haven't you know that my gear is not is not decent i mean i'm still wearing stuff like a totemic breastplate for example which i guess for a 53 shaman is i don't know if that's good or bad <laughs> no idea but i like it because i like the I like the plate graphic um yeah but i've kind of been thinking about equipment more and more more than i used to um but I want to try not to focus on that too much and just sort of let that kind of... Because we, we all like upgrades, even if we're the sort of person who just logs in and plays on our own. You know, you'd like to see a nice upgrade. And, um, yeah, so that's stuff I've been thinking about quite a bit. But I'm not too... But I'm trying not to get too involved in that. Um, when I get something, it's great, you know. It's, um, it's really good. But I think my focus is going to be XP. That sounds like the sensible thing to do. Um, and that's it. That's it for this video. I just thought I would say hi and talk about some stuff um, as I normally do. Anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.